Tobacco Road began its long run on Broadway. Ruby Keeler was dancing in the movie 42nd Street. And Janet Gaynor, Will Rogers, and Lou Ayers were appearing in State Fair. And in the Broadway hit, As Thousands Cheer, you heard a song that was destined to become one of Irving Berlin's most famous melodies. With all the frills upon it, you'll be the grandest lady in the parade. I'll be all in clover when they look you over. I'll be the proudest fellow. Avenue. The photographers will snap us, and you'll find that you're in the road of review. I could write a sonnet about your Easter bonnet and of the girl I'm taking. was inaugurated President of the United States. It was in 1933 that you first heard Jerome Kern's eloquent and unforgettable ballad, Smoke Gets in Your Eyes. Lucille? They ask me how I knew my true
1933 saw a new champion in the world of sports. government was getting stronger in Germany. And on October the 14th, an announcement came from Germany. The German Reich is withdrawing from the disarmament conference and from the League of Nations. Yes, the world was nervous. But everyone was trying to take an optimistic view and hope for the best. There was still hope back in 1933 that war might be avoided and that the storm brewing behind the German borders might be a tempest in the teapot. And so there was still laughter, there were still dreams, there were still young people in love making plans for the future. And of course there was music, dramatic, exciting, wonderful music. You came, I was alone. I should have known that you Gordon McRae, Lucille Norman, and the summer show train trip to the year 
1933, the NRA was set up. 3.2 beer became legal. The Navy dirigible, the Aquas, crashed off Barnegat Light, New Jersey. And on December 5th... Hey, have you heard the news? The 18th Amendment's been repealed. It's been repealed, I tell you. Oh, boy, what a New Year this is going to be. things in the papers back in 33, and husbands were having the same trouble they've been having right along. Dear, did you see what it says in the paper? Lucy, I buy an extra paper every night, so you'll leave me alone and let me read mine. Now, for heaven's sake, let me read. But it says Portugal has allowed women to vote for the first time. Now, how do you suppose the men in Portugal ever let the women put that over on? Well, I think that... Lucy, any sentence you put it with the word I think is erroneous from that word I. <laughs> you talk like you think I haven't any brains at all. I don't consider that a point open for discussion. Well, I think women have just as many brains as men. In fact, more. And no matter what you say, you aren't going to intimidate me. I'm not afraid of you, you know. Yeah, I know. But I'm afraid of you. In 1933, a ballad was written by Jimmy McHugh and Dorothy Fields who swept the country. You sang it then, you sang it during a recent revival. And I guess you'll always sing. Now, 
1933. 17 years back into time and memory. In the town where we come and The year of the fire at the rice stop. The year of the blizzard that terrified England and Wales. A change of presidents for the nation. And the last final sleep for ex-president Calvin Coolidge. Bank holidays, the NRA, Marie Dressler and Tugboat Annie. Those are some of the things you were talking about 17 years ago. And one of the things you must remember from those days is Jerome Kern and Otto Harbach's memorable musical Roberta and his great love song, The Touch of Your Hand. When you shall see flowers that lie on the plain, lying there sighing for one touch of rain, then you moment, I'll tell you what we have in store for you next week. In the 1910-1915 era, Carl Hushner and Otto Harbach brought to Broadway the delightful Madame Carey with the perennial favorite, Every Little Movement. And next week, the summer show train is going to take you on a trip back to that time to relive some of its most interesting happenings and hear many of its greatest songs. Songs like Moonlight Bay, You Wore a Tulip, Meet the Southern Moon, and Beautiful Lady. 
So, friends, be sure to join us again next Monday and ride with us aboard the summer show train back to the years 1910 to 1915.